Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how to set up a connection between a Schneider M221 PLC and a Modbus simulator using Modbus RTU protocol. The PLC will be used as the master, and the simulator as the slave. I have already made a project and added my PLC to it. To set up the Modbus serial line settings, we simply click on the serial line port on the PLC. I will stick with the preset settings since they will work fine to communicate with the Modbus simulator. Next, we want to go to the programming tab and go to our main task rung. We then want to click on a new function block and choose the right variable block. To the function block we want to add two normally open contacts and four output bits. We then want to give each input and output an individual memory bit tag. I will use memory bit 80 to 85. If we hover the mouse on the function block a configuration menu will pop up. We want to make sure the link is set to SL1. This lets the block know it's from the serial line port we want to communicate. The object type we can choose if we want to write or read bits or words. I am gonna write multiple words to my Modbus slave simulator, so I will select option 0. On ID we choose which slave ID we want to communicate with. First object means which is the first address we want to write from the Modbus protocol, and the quantity means how many registers we want to write. So if I put 0 to 9 means I will write 9 registers from the Modbus address 40001 to 40009. Index data is the PLC's address we want to write from. I will go with 40 here, this means my memory word 40 is my first address, and ends on memory word 48. I will go to the Commissioning tab and download these settings to the PLC. In the Modbus Slave Simulator we want to go to Setup and click Slave Definition. Slave ID we want to use the same as we gave it in the function block. And the address and quantity should be the same as we gave first object and quantity in the function block. And function we want to make sure is set to holding registers. Then we go to connection to set up the connection from the simulator to the PLC. Here we want to make sure the setup is same as we set it up in the hardware configuration in Machine Expert. In the Serial Settings tab we have to choose which COM port our USB is plugged into. To find which COM port we're connected to we need to open up Device Manager. And under the COM and LPT tab we can find which port we're connected to. In Machine Expert we want to add an animation table. To do so we go to the Tools tab. Then right click on Animation Tables and add New Animation Table. Then we want to add all the memory words from 40 up to 48. We can then start the PLC so we can monitor and write values.
I will write some different values on my memory words. Then now that I trigger my execute input on the function block, the values will be written to the modbus simulation. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.